but I want to help the UK's families eat, shop and save their way to happiness. I think it's a wake-up call. I'm up for the challenge. And I've got a team of experts ready to rescue a different family each week. Let's do that. Cauliflower rice. Ten more seconds left, you're nearly there. You could save ten grand a year. We'll show them, and you, how to beat the burnout. The whole time, have you noticed something that you've been doing? You've been smiling. Oh. <laughs> I've got more energy. I feel alive again. Are you ready to eat better? I never thought I'd be able to cook like this. Delicious. It's delicious. My work here is done. Shop smarter. I've got my shopping list. And make some real savings in your life. I just feel so much better. It's life-changing. <laughs> then welcome to Eat, Shop, Save. I want to take Neil on a surprise holiday for his 50th birthday in August. At the moment, I can't see that happening because money is so tight. If anyone can get to the bottom of where Neil and Michelle's hard-earned cash is going, it's money expert Kate Hardcastle. I want to make sure we get in control of their finances, which is going to make them feel better and certainly make their bank balance look better. With the big birthday milestone looming, Kate's hoping with a few tweaks to their finances, there'll be calls for Neil and Michelle to celebrate. I hear someone's got a special occasion coming soon. Yeah, on 15, five months' time. We would love to go away. OK. I've been looking at your finances and I think I've found a way to be able to get you on that getaway that you deserve. Looking at the takeaways, the cakes, the biscuits, the weekly treats, mm -hmm. if you gave that up for five months, mm -hmm. I want to show you just how much you could save. If you want to lift up the silver lid... Oh, wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a healthy holiday fund if they can just ditch the snacks and stick to home-cooked food until Neil's birthday. But Kate's not finished. Explain to me the situation about your second car. At the time you buy these, these lovely things and at the time you can afford it and then obviously things change, we're in a lot of negative equity. Yes. We took out a loan. If we were to sell it now, we would still owe to the bank... £3,000. But that £3,000 worth of negative equity might be easier to pay off than Neil and Michelle realise. If you were prepared to give up the same treats that you did for the five months, for 12 months, if you just lift the lid, you'll see just how much that would bring back into your finances. Oh, my gosh. A lot of money. That's more than enough money to pay off the £3,000 debt, and if they choose to get rid of the car altogether, their future savings could be even greater. I want to think about the scenario that you've given up the snacks and treats and takeaways and you've paid off your car loan. In here is what 12 months would look like, putting the money in a bank instead. Oh, my God! Ta-da! That's right, a staggering £8,190 saving. You would be able to be back on track for a fresh start, and I know you'd do it differently this time. Oh, God, oh yeah. yeah, definitely. Definitely. definitely yeah. After Kate's advice, it feels like almost a release, because now we've got a way forward. Yep. We know what to do, and we know how to do it.